Hey everyone, my name is David and I'm here with AV today. And we're gonna chat with you about Creativation Plus, featuring art materials world and how you can make the most out of your experience with the event. That's right, we are getting closer to the event and you know it is never too early to prepare. David and I want to make sure you have all the information you need to get the most out of the event. We know this year it's a little bit different for both AFCI and NAMSA communities, but that what makes it so exciting. There are a lot of opportunities waiting for you at Creative Nation Plus. You just need to grab them. Yeah, indeed. So you might be wondering why AV and I are doing this today. So let's start with a couple of quick introductions. Again, I'm David Pyle. I've been part of this community for like four years. I started as an art materials retailer. I then became a consultant and did a lot of mar lots of marketing and sales consulting across the industry. I became the director of marketing and a brand director for one of the largest art materials brands in the world. And then I moved into publishing and I've been the publisher of a number of different art and craft magazines. Quilting magazines, jewelry making magazines, knitting and crochet, and then lots of art making as well. So I love these shows. I love the sense of community that comes out of them. So what about you, A.V.? Well, hey everyone, my name is A.V. I'm a DIY expert, influencer, and a digital host for HGTV. Dave and I are your Creativation Plus MCs, and you may have already seen our videos floating around, you know, these social media channels, but we are giving you all the activities, all of the sessions, like all the deets about all of that. And I am so excited to be here with you, David. Yeah, me too. So today's webinar is going to focus on how do you make the most of the experience. We're not necessarily going to dive into the how to's the platform because you can find resources for that. And we've got things like that at creativeindustries.org that'll really help you dig, dig into, into the nuts and bolts. Instead, we're going to give you some tips on how best to prepare, how to use the platforms, AI matchmaking functionalities, and how to connect and have fun during the event and more. And I just got to share, you know, I was thinking about um, in the past, every time you look at, you, you get advice as to how to get the most out of shows, everybody says, wear good shoes, right, A.V.? Mm -hmm. Well, for this, I'm wearing my Flaming Chuck Taylor All-Stars. So uh, they may not be great for walking, but I wanted to use these to set this up for Q&A. So you can ask us any questions that you want. I'll take any query that comes my way. Put my feet to the flame because they're already on fire. You know, I love the sound of that. And I love myself some Chuck Taylors. Add a little bedazzle to it, maybe? maybe Absolutely. Around, Dave? Okay. Well, we are going to just talk about what is the biggest tips for this presentation. You need to use the week prior to the event. Starting March 8th, that is when you, me, we, us, all are given access to familiarize yourself with the platform. Build out your profile and agenda, make connections, schedule meetings, the whole nine yards. Let's dive in and talk about each of those areas. A great place for us to start is the importance of building your Creative Nation Plus featuring Art Materials World Profile. I like to think of this as your virtual profile. It's like your event badge. And the pieces of information that are included are your ribbons that help other people identify your role at the event and within the industry. Like, I would love that mine would say MC on it so I can find other MCs like David. The Creative Nation Plus platform uses the information <laughs> provided to make better recommendations throughout the event, such as who do you like to connect with and sessions you might want to attend. Exactly. So the more you build out your profile AV, not only the better that other attendees or exhibitors are going to be able to find you, but also the better the recommendations that you'll get from the platform itself and from the artificial, artificial intelligence engine that drives all of that. So the sections of your profile include an about me section, it includes links to your social media accounts, to your company, your contact information. Also make sure to upload a profile picture. Profile pictures are more approachable. And if you recently knitted a hat, like me, I've got another one that I've knitted, knitted for the event. Make certain that you sure. include that in your picture too. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, make sure you add your hat, David, and your scarf too, because they <laughs> are very approachable. <laughs> Just as you can build out your profile to help the AI matchmaking function do its magic, you can 
also build out your agenda portion of the Creativation Plus account. Not only will this help you keep track of everything that you want to explore and attend throughout the event, but similar to the components of your profile, the session and events you add to your agenda will help the platform recommend other sessions and events you might be interested in. I'm so excited about that. Like, just imagine you, you type in your YouTuber and then you have all of these events that have to do with YouTube content creation that the matchmaking tool did for you. You can find all the Creativation Plus sessions and events within the schedule event area of the platform. Each of the five days of Creativation Plus contains at least one networking event, various education sessions, and an exhibit hall time. Yeah, no kidding. So hold the phone. I think it's important that we note here, AV, that with a virtual event like Creativation Plus, the exhibit hall is always, and I'm underscoring, always open for attendees to browse. So you can visit it virtually anytime, visit any virtual booth, anytime you want, 24-7, middle of the night. That's so the exhibit hall hour... The exhibit hall hours are listed on the schedule as the official exhibit hall hours, but this is when exhibitors will have staff available to answer questions and to connect with you using the platform. We're going to talk a little bit more in just a few minutes about how to connect with the exhibitors later on. You can view your agenda as a complete schedule by your networking activities, such as the people you connect with or message, and view your bookmark exhibitor companies. If you click on My Meetings, this is will allow you to build a schedule of availability for other attendees and exhibitors to view and use when reaching out to connect. Yeah, so we recommend that you use the week leading up to the event to look through the schedule of events and then add sessions that you know you want to attend. Creativation Plus features a mixture of live and pre-recorded sessions, which are going to always be followed by a live Q&A to speakers. So you can identify live sessions by the red live indicator. There's a little red thingy that's going and take note of this as it'll help you plan your time. Okay, so we've provided a little bit of insight already into how the virtual exhibit hall is gonna work and the flexibility that a platform like this gives for you and your browsing experience. But we wanna give you a few more tips about how to explore and connect with the exhibitors who are also online. So our first tip is to explore the exhibitors the week prior to the event. Attendees are given access to the virtual platform on March 8th, so that's coming up, and that allows you to browse and make a plan. So take note of who you want to connect with and what booths you want to visit during the exhibit hall hours, and then you can bookmark those companies, and you can find them easily again in your My Agenda section. Our second tip is to connect with exhibitors during exhibit hall hours. You can message them directly on their booth page, or you can book one-on-one -on -one meetings by selecting one of the open times listed on their page. I mean, the convenience of that. You just book and go, click and go, and you can book one-on-one -on -one times with them. Here's a challenge for you. Say yes to connecting with new companies at Creativation Plus. Set a goal for how many new companies you want to connect with, and then surpass that goal. Awesome. So, and we know that you want to explore new products. This has been such an interesting year and so many manufacturers have been busy with a lots of, with lots of new product development. So there's a wealth of new stuff to find and you can find new products listed in each exhibitor's booth, also within the buyer's guide. And we also recommend exploring the new product showcase, which has always been a staple and a fan favorite at Creativation and at NAMTA every year. Okay, so we've covered a little bit about where you can find the education sessions at Creativation Plus, and then you can add them to your agenda for a smooth running event. And now we wanna provide you with some tips on how to make the most of those education sessions. First and foremost, we can't say it enough, plan ahead. Know what you wanna get out of each education session on your agenda, prepare questions in advance, Look up the presenter. Well, don't stalk, but you know you can certainly look <laughs> him or her up in advance, and then you can learn a little bit about them and beforehand. A little learn a little bit about them beforehand, and this will all add to your experience with the session. You know, David, I like to call it careful observation, not stalking. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, I did get the privilege of being a presenter at Creativation, and I think some of the best tips I can give is engage 
with the presenter. Sometimes as an attendee, you think, oh my gosh, the presenter is such far distance away from you, but we are all here to network and something you may be able to add value to them and they'll be able to add value to you. So continue building on those relationships in, in this time. Speakers at Creativation are looking forward to engaging with you during live Q&A through polls and using the chat feature during the session. The more you engage with the content and the speaker, the more you, other attendees, and the presenter get out of the session. Absolutely. You know, and along with the regular education sessions, AV, Creative, Creativation Plus is also featuring vendor sessions. And this is something in particular I'm looking for. I don't know how many times at past shows I've had to miss some of those because I couldn't capture, I couldn't get them all done during the course of the show. But with this virtual show, you can get everything. These sessions that are pre-recorded by vendors are going to be available for live interactive Q&A during the session as the video plays as well. And don't forget, one of the great opportunities of a virtual event is the ability to watch the sessions, those from edu the regular education sessions and the ones from vendors that you missed live on demand. The content of Creativation Plus is going to be available to you for three months after the event so you can catch up on everything that you may have missed or you can rewatch what you love. You know, three months, that is a good amount of time. And I love that there are vendor sessions because that allows people, especially influencers, to learn how brands are using and how they intend their products to be used straight from the source. Love it. Creativation Plus has a variety of networking events for you to choose from. International attendees are invited to join Monday's Global Connection Plus networking session to connect, discuss challenges, and share success stories. On Tuesday, all attendees are invited to Birds of a Feather, where subject matter experts will lead discussions on key topics including going beyond back to normal, social media and craft, STEM versus STEAM, and diversity, equity, and inclusion. On Thursday, join AFCIs in New Emerging Leaders and NAMTA's Next Generation at the Emerging Leaders Discussion to discuss the impacts of COVID-19 and the industry's future. During the outside of these events, you can connect with attendees using the message and chat function of the platform. It's a lot of networking going on. Like it. Yeah, like it yeah, but that's one, of, that's one of the things that makes this stand out. So our advice is to bring the same kind of flair and excitement to your virtual networking that you would in person. So yeah, add a little doing do the dab, whatever you need to do to bring some character and flavor to this. So turn on your camera if you're comfortable doing so and make yourself camera ready and show off any new hat or anything else that you may, may have recently knitted or show off your favorite shoes. We can have a contest <laughs> for the best shoes at the show. And then we you should can definitely be have part of the fun. And you know, you, you could also add one of your one of these Creativation Plus Zoom backgrounds. I love mine. I keep mine on all the time. And that is a great point. And lastly, you can connect with fellow attendees within the discussion section of the platform. Discussion forums are a great way for you to connect with each other on hot topics and trends, including success stories from 2020 and whatever you have coming up next. Well, everyone, we are about at that time. David, how ready are you for Creativation Plus? You know, I am so ready. When, when we were first approached about doing this, I thought, you know, it's going to be a digital thing. And I think I know what digital things are about. But actually, I had no idea. This platform works wonderfully. And I'm really excited about the chance to connect with some people in some ways that I thought I wasn't going to be able to do until we, until we were able to do it in, in person next year. So what a pleasure to be part of this. What a pleasure to be part of this with you, AV. It's, you're, you're delightful. And what a, what a great opportunity for all of us to be able to come together and take advantage of the things that are cooking within our industries. So, you know, everybody should, should please remember that uh, um, there's lots more information at creativeindustries.org. You can find all the details that you need to make the most of this. But I can't wait to dive into this. AV, I can't wait to see you as, 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 we, as we work through all of this. And can't wait to see everybody else there. Thanks so much.